Rising sea temperatures are threatening to destroy coral reefs altogether. Reefs of the world are dying. Uh, during the last 30 years, we've lost 50% of all coral reefs of the world. It is predicted that by 2050, only 10% will remain. This is bad news. Since corals are the main builders of reefs and support more than 25% of marine biodiversity, the ocean life could be in grave danger as well. When sea water temperature rises, this special symbiosis between the coral animal and the algal symbionts ceases to exist and the coral will soon die because of starvation. This process is called bleaching. Maoz Fine dedicated his life to researching the ocean and will do his best to ensure its survival. Welcome to the Red Sea Simulator. This facility is used to simulate future conditions in the Red Sea. Maoz and his team monitor the coral's reaction to rising seawater temperature, pollution, and other disturbances. We can uh, create various scenarios of climate change in each of the 80 tanks here, and we have the robot that carries various sensors, moves from one tank to the next, and uh, records the, uh, the conditions there. In the laboratory, Maoz's team is studying corals collected at sea. We measure the response of the coral. Namely, we measure the oxygen that the coral is using through respiration, but also the oxygen that the coral algae is producing through photosynthesis. Recently, a new experiment was launched to examine the corals in their natural habitat. We have sensors on the reef that are doing more or less at the same time, that are measuring the physiological performance of corals on the reef and broadcasting the information to the experimentalists, but also to the public. This experiment is done in Elat's shoreline, as well as Aqaba's, which provides the team a better understanding of the Red Sea's coral life. While coral reefs around the world are expected to die in 30 years, the coral reefs of Elat and Aqaba are producing different numbers. We found out in this facility and also our observations at sea that reefs are doing pretty well. They've never experienced any mortality event, primarily caused by bleaching. Corals around the world will bleach and die at one or two degrees above the summer maximum temperature, while corals at the Red Sea will bleach at four to six degrees above the summer maximum temperature. When these corals arrive uh, into the Red Sea, and this is happening not more than 6,000 years ago, they had to undergo very hot conditions, in a way a selection process. The surviving corals eventually migrated northward to the northern Red Sea. We may very well be the last reef to withstand the uh, developing conditions in the oceans. The repercussion of coral reef extinction will also be severe on the economy, as many rely on the ocean life to provide food and work. While the future of corals is a cause of concern, Maoz and his team won't lose hope in saving the ocean.